It was unbelievable. I thought there must be something to this. But he was teaching me, you know, about faith to invest my time because I sure wasn't worth anything to anybody the way I was. Hello? Well, you're awful quiet this morning. You're scaring me. Oh, praise God. He said, if you want more talent, if you want more ability, invest what you have in the kingdom. I'm telling you what, I'm looking at a boatload of talent this morning because I seen, I remember when y'all, some of y'all come in here and and you wasn't doing what you're doing now. How many is doing some, doing things that you never thought you'd ever be doing? Look around. I mean, you invested what you had, and now I mean, God is just you know, He's He's multiplying your talent. Now you're thinking, boy, I want to do something else. And it's faith. It's investing. Praise God. And if you need more treasure, if you need more money, how many needs more money? Well, some of you. That's half of you. Praise God. If you need, if you need more treasure, or if you need more resources, invest what you have in the kingdom of God and see what happens. See what happens. I remember a lady came to me and she was just, I mean, she was just you know, working two jobs, single parent, and just having just having an awful time. And I knew she was just, I mean, it was she was wore out from working just the two jobs, you know. And uh, I said, Well, do you tithe? I can't afford to tithe. I said, You can't afford not to. You're working two jobs now. How would you like to just work one job? Oh, well, there's just no way I can't I can't afford to do that. And I said, okay. I said, to prove a point. I said, won't you just tithe off of one of your jobs? Just tithe off of one job and not the other. Let's just see what happens. It wasn't even, I don't even think it was two months. And she she quit the other job. She said, I don't I don't see how I don't see how this has happened. I just don't see. I said, it's faith. It's just faith. It's not. It's not legalism. It's how much can you trust God for? You invest what you have. Use it in the kingdom. And see what happens. It's an amazing thing. Luke 6.38 tells us to what? Yeah. And you'll what? And you shall receive. Just a little bit. Good measure. Press down. Shaken together. And running over. Amen. When I go to the movie theater and they hand me that big bag of popcorn, I always get the, the I always sit there and I sit there and press down and I shake it and shoot the thing drops that much. Because I don't like to get up and go get another bag. I'm watching the movie. You know, I'm going to be running back and forth. And I said, good measure, press down, shaking together, and the, and the guys just stand there watch me. And I said, here, fill her up. Jesus says in Matthew 6, 21, for where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. Amen. Praise God. Now the cautious servant here trusted neither himself nor his master. And in the end, like a criminal who got caught and wasn't allowed to profit from his ill-gotten gain, neither was the servant here not allowed to profit from his lack of faith and lack of participation. So when we consider that the time that God has given us here on earth and the talents and the abilities that He's instilled within us, that these are the greatest gifts that we have that we can put to use for God's glory. And Jesus tells us in this parable that we will not be judged on how much we have or even how much we get or how much we give. But we will be judged on how wisely and how well we use what we have in the time that we have it. Amen. Amen. 
So in this upcoming year, 2010, just remember, use it or lose it. Amen. Amen. We praise God. And God, I know, you know, when we put it to use for Him, God is awesome. He will bless you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, whatever it is that you need, time, talent, treasure, whatever it is. Amen. And I'm telling you what, people will get saved. In the meantime, you will have more fun than a person ought to have. And you'll be blessed much more than you ever thought you could be blessed in your life. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to ask the ushers to come this morning. The table has been prepared. Praise God. And we're going to...